What's going on, people? It's the Hoops Guru back at it again. And today we're talking world champion Cleveland Cavaliers. Salute. LeBron James, you got another one. You brought one for the land, and you are truly a champion, undisputed. Even though you have rings before, it's undeniable now. What you did was phenomenal last year and historic, and you deserve every bit of accolades you get from this day forward. Um, But let's talk about the future going on. The Cleveland Cavaliers, they're in prime position to repeat as world champions. There are a little bit of things that may hinder that, but they should definitely at least get to Eastern Conference Finals. Um... At the least. But let's let's first start off with my man, Kyrie Irving. He's no he's a bona fide superstar as well. I told everybody last year that the playoffs would be Kyrie Irving's coming out party now that he's healthy. The man has the best offhand in the game. He goes to the hole, you don't know. Is he going right? Is he going left? It's unstoppable going to the basket. And he's no longer in the conversation with the likes of John Wall or Damian Lillard or those guys. Now he's in a conversation with the Russell Westbrooks and two-time world champion Steph Curry. He's on that elite stage now. And that's what happens to the victor goes to spoils. And he definitely got the spoils winning the championship and hitting that clutch shot in Game 7 of the NBA Finals. Because let's tell the truth, that fourth quarter, there were a lot of missed shots. And it came down to his make, Steph's miss, in a nutshell. And that's the difference between being a repeat champ and being the uh, first time in the history of the Cleveland Cavaliers getting their championship. So congratulations again for that, and I hope you guys enjoy your celebration coming up soon. But there's a, what if Kyrie Irving gets hurt? That's a big question. Della Vadova is gone. Now behind him, they have the, rook, the rookie uh, Felder and point guard slash scoring shooting guard Jordan McRae. I believe they kept Mo Williams on the roster, but I can't confirm that at this particular time. But if Kyrie Irving gets hurt, that's a big, big, big change in their season. Uh, no longer veterans behind him. I'm, you know, Felder is a great uh Talent, but he's undersized. He's in that uh, Nate Robinson type of uh, type of mold as a five foot nine point guard, very athletic, can shoot, got a great world of talent. But how would you want him being your starting point guard in the playoffs or playing a bulk of minutes if there's a Kyrie Irving injury? So him being healthy is very, very critical to the success of this team. But one thing about this team that is good is that they're very interchangeable. They have a lot of guys that can play a lot of different positions. You have guys like Jordan McRae, who I believe is best served coming off the bench as a shooting guard. And actually, his talent can get him an opportunity to be sixth man of the year. I think his scoring prowess is that good. But he has at 6'6", he does have the ability to play the one, the two, or the three. You got a guy like Iman Shepard that could play the two or the three. J.R. Smith could play the two or the three. Kevin Love could play the three, four, or the five. You know, Tristan Thompson could play the four or the five. LeBron can play one through five. So Coach Lou has an opportunity to do a lot of mixing and changing with this roster, and I always think that's a good thing because it makes you adaptable, it makes you flexible, and it also can help you if there's times where the team is struggling and you need to just try something different to get some energy in your team. So having a very flexible roster is extremely important, and it's good that they have this in there uh, as an asset to their team. Um, they added some new pieces as, outside from the rookie I mentioned uh, in Felder. They also brought longtime LeBron James favorite, um, the Birdman, Chris Anderson. I honestly think Chris Anderson should start at the five. I think he should start over Tristan Thompson. I think Tristan should be your guy off the bench with that second unit energy guy and maybe even could play him down the stretch closing. But um, I just think Birdman's a little wiser than him as a player. And I think it's better to get started off with a vet, with his veteran savviness and bring Tristan off the bench with that second unit. Um, they also added veteran Mike Dunleavy. Great pickup. The guy can shoot. He's smart. You know, he knows his role. And he can play. He can pay you your small forward. He maybe can play some big guard. I don't know the way he weighs right now. I don't know if he can play any forward or not. But he has a good height. But in any case... Good veteran, any team would be happy to have, and a great addition to this team would give LeBron James a lot more option, especially when he's driving and kicking it out. You hit this guy in the corner, more than likely it's going in. So a great ad- asset in addition to this particular team. Um, and the other thing is that LeBron James, there's no signs of him slowing, showing he's slowing down. I think he's hungrier than ever. He's, you know, he has Michael Jordan in his sights. 
you're not going to catch the Michael, though. But he does have him in his sights. So that's going to keep him motivated, you know, keep him wanting to go to the finals and have an opportunity to win more rings. Um, and also, I think he likes to repeat for Cleveland, you know. Cleveland's Cleveland's buzzing right now, and I think he wants to prove that he can get this team back there again and enhance his legacy. So I think he's extremely motivated, and I think this team's going to be there. Um, but the biggest thing is that this team just needs to stay healthy. Kevin Love's healthy um, after winning the championship last year. Kyrie Irving's currently healthy right now, so they're going to come out the gate really strong. Uh Kevin Love seems really, really relaxed, too. I think all the pressure of the world was on him last year, but now he has his jewelry. I think we're going to see a little more Minnesota Kevin Love, where he's just playing his game carefree, no pressure. And I think you'll see him more adventurous and a little more assertive as the alpha male on this team now. Not saying he is the alpha male, but one of the alpha males. I mean, that he'll show a little more moxie, a little more aggressiveness. You know, I could see him being a being more of an asset now than he was last year. So I'm looking for big things with uh, Kevin Love for sure. But this team has everything they need to be successful. They reloaded. They The pieces they added are good. Um, I still think there may be a trade for a better point guard. It would have been nice to see him get someone like Michael Carter Williams or something like that to back up Kyrie Irving. That would have been a nice addition. Um, but they're trusting in the rookies. They believe in them, so they must know something I don't know. Tyron Lou proving that he's a smart guy, so I trust what this organization's doing. But like I said, health is the key for them to get to the conference finals and to have an opportunity to repeat. So I don't think they're going to push it as hard as they can. They're not going to try to get 73 wins or anything of that crazy. I think the max you're looking at this team is 60 wins, 61 maybe. And on the low end, 50, 57, 58, somewhere in that range. They want to make sure they clinch home court advantage in the East. They're not going to try to push it to get overall home court advantage because they proved last year they don't need it. Uh, they just want to make sure they're healthy and ready for the playoffs. So I think that's what they're going to do. This team is prime. They're the team to beat in the Eastern Conference. Matter of fact, they're the team to beat in the NBA because they got the ring. So here we go. That's it in a nutshell. Let's see if everything comes to fruition. NBA's right around the corner. So yo, you guys show some comments. If I'm off base, let me know. If you like what I'm saying, please hit that like button. Tell your friends, tell your family. Let's chop it up and have a good time. I'm the Hoops Guru. This is for Beach Street Sports Blast. I'm going to keep talking and you guys keep listening. Peace.